A tomato is not the first thing that comes to mind when thinking of made in China. But these Indonesian tomatoes could soon lose out to cheaper and more efficiently produced vegetables, imported duty-free from China, threatening the livelihoods of traditional farmers all over Indonesia. The farmers blame the government for not improving Indonesia's competitiveness since the free trade deal was signed in 2004. We should have been ready 10 years ago, only now the deal has come into effect. We are suddenly panicking. How are we going to compete with the Chinese products? We hope the government can still change the deal or postpone it. This could be the end of an era. Farmers all over Indonesia who have never used a machine in their lives now have to compete with mass production from China. They are forced to modernize very quickly, otherwise millions will be out of business. Supermarkets all over Indonesia are already flooded with cheap and nicely packaged fruits and vegetables from China. Statistics released on Monday show that imports from China have increased 300% in the past five years, particularly during the past few months. The only advantage for us is that consumers can buy cheaper goods, but for our producers there's no advantage of this free trade yet. Angry with the government, thousands took to the street to protest against the free trade deal. Not only farmers, textile workers, shoe producers, furniture makers and electronic sellers say they're all being affected, demanding the government to cancel the agreement before millions lose their job. Our own factory will be closed because we will never be able to compete. So I'm afraid I will lose my job. My family and I will be the victim of this. President Yudhoyono, trying to calm emotions, says that Indonesia has the right to ask for delays. Jakarta has already asked the Association of Southeast Asian Nations to delay tariff removal on 228 products. The president also mentioned that we are going to do our utmost in order to make sure that the injury which is coming from this agreement, trade agreement, will not create a social and political effect. Delay or not, cheap Chinese products continue to arrive at the ports. The agreement is final. It was signed by a previous government who is now blamed for not anticipating the consequences, giving Indonesians only one option, to face competition sooner rather than later. These students are learning to become efficient farmers, so in the future they won't be threatened by cheaper imports and can manage to increase their exports. Only then will Indonesia and China benefit from free trade. Step fast, Al Jazeera, West Java.